Rigliana. It was in this pot right here. And I decided to take it out the pot. There's multiple growing points on this plant. Very big, very healthy plant. And I just wanted to uh, separate them into different pots. So I have the original pot and the new pot that I want to separate them into. But when I took the plant out the pot, I noticed there were a lot of dead leaves. So I just went ahead and took those off. And some leaves are uh, beginning to get brown and die. But they still have a nice, good uh, photosynthetic base to them. So I'll just wait till they senesce naturally. And then I'll pull them off afterwards. So what I'm going to do is I took the plant out of the pot and right now I'm just going to put it into this was the original uh, tray I had it in I gotta clean that out too but all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in uh, a different tray right here and I'm going to try to loosen up some of the sphagnum peat that's around uh, the base of the roots of the plant you can see the root system is very uh, well established on this plant what also helps is if you get a little bit of water always distilled water with carnivorous plants never tap water and if you just run it through just a little bit you know less than an inch of water I have here bit of uh, utricularia here on the side of this plant I don't know how the utricularia got there but I think it came in one of my sundews and then spread out by seed uh, we'll just keep that in a corner so I'll just put all the utricularia right here in the corner And it takes a bit of finesse and a bit of coaxing uh, to get the roots of the plants uh, separated and the plants themselves separated. I'm just teasing them apart little by little. They'll come apart. If there's a little bit of tearing uh, at the roots, you see the two plants here. If there's a little bit of tearing, uh, that's okay. Don't worry so much about the little tearings of the roots. Uh, there you go. Now we have two, actually I'm seeing another growth point on this one, and uh, I thought I only had two, but apparently I have three because there's two growth points here, which I'm going to try to separate. They look like uh, they're really close together, yep, there you go, three individual Saracenia rigliana plants. I mixed the sphagnum moss with some of this peat moss as well, since it was growing in the peat moss before just to soak up some of the water and some of the extra peat. So what I'm going to do at this point is just add a bit more distilled water. So that the sphagnum could be really wet. Remember you don't want to pack it too tightly. And if there are sticks or other pieces of debris in your sphagnum it's a really good idea just to uh, get all that junk out of the sphagnum moss. Get a big glop of sphagnum and just throw it into the pot. Another mild glop, throw it into the pot. And my pot at this small moment, it's a uh, mixed sphagnum and peat moss together. And what I'm going to do is just poke a hole in the center so that um, I can put the root system of the Saracenia in the center of the pot. Comes out. You could also use your finger. The sphagnum is really loose. It's not too tight that the root systems can't grow, but not too loose that it's really airy. You try to put them into the sphagnum moss as best as possible. Then you pack in the sphagnum all around the base of the plant so that the roots have uh, a good covering. Now usually when I do this, there's a bit of space between the top of the plant and the roots. So I reserve a little bit of sphagnum left to cover the rest of the plant and its roots. And there you have it, Saracenia rigliana, planted in a pot with sphagnum moss and uh, peat moss mixed in. So that's about it. Thanks for watching.